Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the next installment of our Life of a Legionary campaign where we are no longer fighting as just an individual soldier in the Roman army. We are now a landed Lord Senator. I guess Senator is probably the coolest way to, uh, to approach that. And we are fighting the good fight. We need to build up a bit of influence inside of the Roman Empire and help beat back this scourge that is plaguing Italy with their invasions but once we kind of do that once we build up enough of our influence we're going to be able to hopefully start raising these armies bringing them to bear against the germanians and just taking back everything that we once lost and once had you know these lands deserve to be roman uh, you're free to go though my friend no i've kind of just talked about how i hate and i want to take down the germanians but again building up that charm experience and also gaining a bit of influence is second to none we will however take them prisoners and we will however upgrade some of our soldiers Soldiers? Oh, we need the horses right for that, yeah. So we'll keep hold of that. Oh, some nice extra resources. Yeah, we'll take all of that as well. We are a bit over capacity, so we actually, when we hit Rome, I might actually leave this army and go join up elsewhere. But yeah, look at that. The army has actually disbanded. So let's head up to Rome itself. We'll buy some more horses and we will go ahead and change a bit of our stats. And then, do we have another army already raised? We don't. Could we raise an army? So we have about 34 influence, yeah. We could bring like maybe one or two lords with us, but not enough to really make a difference. Okay, I might still head up to that castle because if my 40 men can get inside of the castle, that would be a great defense for sure. So yeah, let's head to Rome. Let's sell our equipment that we have, sell our prisoners into uh, into slavery and uh, go from there. Oh, I'd also like to mention as well, and just basically say a massive thank you to all the lovely comments I've been getting on this series, especially you know around episode six, seven, you know, that's when views start to dwindle um but it's so amazing honestly i read all the comments and it's so amazing to tell you like you guys telling me how much you enjoy the series it's amazing for motivation as well it's like yeah these people actually really do care about these episodes and really do want to see them so it honestly makes so much of a difference you may think just saying oh i really enjoyed this episode doesn't really do much but honestly trust me when i say this it really really does and i'm sure it's the same for every youtuber as well it's just so awesome to kind of have that stuff uh kind of on the episode so yeah let's see maybe if we can go ahead and break 50 comments on this i know people normally ask for likes but i just love reading all your comments so yeah let's see if we can maybe break that and then next episode i'll do an hour special or something if we do so yeah drop a comment down below just letting me know maybe your favorite roman emperor that'd be kind of a cool thing and again i really do appreciate all the comments it means so much to me so thank you guys we actually do need to buy a couple extra horses as well it seems because we are a little over encumbered but there you go that goes ahead and makes our life a little bit easier oh uh, we'll sell these cows as well i don't know why we're so oh because we have 146 grain that'll be why okay well that's 22k again money isn't really massive for us in this campaign but we'll still take it nonetheless you know like money doesn't really do tons for us at the moment but again getting the trade experience isn't bad and oh yeah before i started this episode i also saw this trait right here so our throwing is now 100 which is really, really good because now we can upgrade to this skill, running throw. You get a little bit of a damage boost for your actual damage for your speed when you're throwing. However, the main thing here is the captain ability. It's going to increase the throwing skill of all of my soldiers by plus 30. That basically means that they are just much better with that throw, whether it's the accuracy, whether it's the damage it does. All of that stuff just gets buffed by this. So that's a really good skill if I'm going to be commanding the infantry for a little time, uh, you know, you know, still more time to come. So I'm a big, big fan of that skill. That's going to just boost our stats massively. Okay, so we've arrived up here and I don't think this is even with artillery. I don't think we can man this defense because we're going to lose about 10, 15 soldiers by just getting inside of a castle. Um, and then we have to kill 600 men. It's just not going to happen. Like maybe if this was down to 400, I would say it's a good go. But I think they just honestly have enough, even with my extra men. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just let them take that castle for now. Uh, and I guess... We're at our troop limit, right? I need to find a good steward for my army. Someone that can actually boost up our stats uh, and give us access to a few more men. Because as of right now, we don't really have one. So I might go on a little look maybe into France to find one. How's our town doing as well? We also need to find a governor as well. So we need another steward for that uh, on top of that. So the workshop's almost built. That's going to give us more production points, which is good. That's going to give us access to, um, you know, just quicker building, which of course is what you want, uh, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and leave it at that for now and i guess maybe head into france to try and find a steward but we are at war as well i guess what we could do we could also 
raid a few caravans along the way on top of that. Um, because, yeah, we have an army built right now, and I can't really muster an army either. I'd love to muster a small army and maybe try and take Taras. But, yeah, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, it's just going to happen. So, let's head into France. We'll take a little... Oh, I say that. We've got an army. So, yeah, no time, no rest for the wicked. Let's go ahead and head uh, into joining the army, which I assume, yeah, yeah, Era's formed a force there in the middle of the ocean. So, let's go join her. She's obviously on a sunset cruise across the Mediterranean. Go buy some actual proper horses as well so that we can uh, upgrade our, our auxiliaries so we have more cavalry. Yeah, so that should... No? What do we need? We need just normal mounts. Requires mounts. Did I not just get a bunch of normal saddled horses? Are they not classed as mounts, maybe? I, I guess not. Um, see, I thought these were. It does say type mount. Uh, this is all type mount. Hmm. Maybe if I get, like, some stepped horses. We have the money, so let's buy maybe four of those and see if that helps out. That, because if they don't count, I don't really know what to, uh, what to do. So the army hero does seem like she's having a bit of a problem here. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe some of these bandits or something. Uh, let's see if maybe we join the army. Uh, can I select her? No, I don't think I can. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it's like... Yeah, maybe it's like these peasants are stopping her. No, it's not them. Okay, well, we'll just wait for her to move out. That's fine. And in the meantime, we'll try and upgrade our cavalry. Boom, there we go. Yeah, cool. So three of them can now upgrade, which is good to me. Oh, five you know, auxiliary horses. Again, not, not crazy, but... Uh, decent enough, decent enough for sure. Okay, here we go. Going down to the south. 309 brave Romans uh, moving down. Uh, again, I would assume that we'd maybe be moving towards Taras, but no, they want us to go north, and I guess no, they want us to go raid some settlements. Okay, well, I can do this. This is going to be a quick upgrade, a quick battle, uh, and a good way for me just to command some more of my soldiers uh, and upgrade the army overall again, because we're inevitably going to be fighting the Germanian horde in pretty brutal combat soon enough. So, yeah, let's move in. Unfortunately, though, we don't get to command the rest of the army. Something I, I guess I, I need to do, and something that I, sh I should probably do a bit more of, is... You know, again, just going out on my own, like, oh, just before we get into a battle, leaving, and then joining the battle that way. So at least that way I get to kind of command my little cohort of men uh, into the engagement. Which, again, I think is kind of cool, right? That, like, I get to command a small portion of the army, my own little cohort. Uh, that kind of fits the, the Roman theme. Oh, man, as well. So now that we have also, uh, now that I'm on my other computer, again, if you've been following the series, you know all about it. I won't bore you uh, with more of the details. Uh, but, yeah, now that we are on my other computer, I probably should start grabbing a few extra mods like rts camera and, and diplomacy back on this because previously obviously i was keeping the mod this really trim like overly trim to be just be safe and that didn't seem to help so now that we're on this computer and everything seems nice and stable um maybe i will grab a rts camera and diplomacy and there's a few like arena mods i have also grabbed cinematic combat which i think you can do like yeah you can do yeah, that you can do like a cool little cinematic thing and your boys should do it as well, uh, which is kind of cool. So I should add a little bit more extra flavor in it and it doesn't seem like that cool. That was the main issue, so that's fine. Let's get our archers up on this hill, but we have to start firing down as the main infantry block moves their way in. And then I might just slowly start to close the distance with my archers as we close the distance with our infantry. So the archers start unleashing a hellfire volley upon the enemy. The infantry are still moving up, being very slow, but I'm hoping my archers can pick up a few of the enemies. I might make my way in a little bit as well, see if I can uh, take on a few of these uh, these archers, especially from the back as well. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. And luckily, these vines actually provide us with some decent armor either side. Uh, so let's push in. Again, this pelum should do a lot of damage to them. Uh, so let's close the distance. And this might encourage the cavalry and everybody else to move in. I say that though, they're pulling off. And these goddamn farmers with their scythes as well. Yeah, he wants me to skirmish, but I want to kill. Okay, they're actually pushing some men in on me. But these are just lightly armored peasants. Shouldn't really cause as much of a problem. There you go, I just sliced off whatever I sliced there. Okay, they're actually being a bit aggressive here. Getting some good hits off on me as well. Okay, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Uh, luckily, they can't really hit me. Can I get out of here? Save me. Yeah, thank God their weapons are trash. They're able to get some... Yeah, I'm down. Okay, cool. Well, I just got mobbed. I got mobbed. And that makes sense. That should happen. Unfortunately, it did happen. And now the boys turn up to finish this off. But yeah, that was my bad, I guess. But I love it. I love that, like, with RBM and cinematic combat as well. Because I think cinematic combat made me stumble a bit when I was getting hit by loads of people. Which is how it should be. Like, a mob of, like, eight people 
should be able to overwhelm just one soldier. So it's cool. We, of course, do need to heal up. I guess we can do that whilst we burn and pillage these poor Romans who have been subjugated by the Germanians. Really not their fault, is it? Uh, it's kind of our fault for letting the Germanians get this deep into Italy. But at this point, I guess we just go for it. Also, that is not a lot of loot that we're, we're currently pillaging. I wonder if this, this town has just been ravaged time after time and they just don't have much left. Because normally, especially in the new patches as well, um, they, they seemingly do get quite a lot of stuff. And we're actually getting trade. Oh, we're getting trade experience for our workshop. Yeah, really cool. That I, I love that Tail World's actually made that a thing. Are we not healing either? Doesn't seem like we're healing. Okay, we're going to abandon the army then. Because it doesn't seem like we're healing right now. So we're going to stay by the army. But actually heal. I guess we could go to like a town. Head north maybe a little bit. Um, and see. The problem is most of the towns are actually fully occupied. Okay, so we're going north with this army. The Germanians will be about as well because it doesn't seem... So Taras has also rebelled? Was it Taras that rebelled? I'm not actually sure. I saw like a little notification. But okay, we'll just head north then for now. <sighs> okay, well we need to run south then. If we get caught, I'm probably going to cheat my HP because I definitely would love to fight this battle. But yeah, we're going to head south and this would be a great engagement for us. Come on, heal, heal, heal. 4% more HP and this is just a perfect battle for us. Granted, they have a lot of cavalry, but we slaughter the infantry and then we form like a square. Oh, that would just be so good. Okay, so I'm going to try and bait this army in enough that they're not going to be a massive issue for us. Okay, we're at 20% HP now. There seems to be a lot more activity for the Germanians though. A lot more of them are heading down. There's 105 stacked there and I think there's a bunch more actually inside of the city. So... I think they're planning something down here in the south. I'm going to stick around though because there might be a decent battle. Yeah, if we can catch this army without them coming out, it's very risky, but let's do it. Can we like catch these guys? Oh yeah, perfect. Cool. Nice. And I think we got them before these guys reinforce. Which is that? Yeah, there you go. Boom. We can smash this army and then move elsewhere. Nice. That's really good. The nice thing is about this battle as well is that we actually get to command all of our soldiers. So we're going to utilize that to our advantage. Let's push up our infantry. It will be like a nice little flanking force. We also have five cavalry as well. So our horses can follow me and probably just engage their soldiers. Again, us outnumbering them as heavily as we are should make this pretty easy. Also, I'm going to finally tell my men to hold fire and they might actually hold fire for once. So we'll use that. Our job is to deal with these little flanking forces, I think. Uh, and then our cavalry uh, can also, I guess, go support our, our other friendly cavalry. So let's do that. And then we'll send our forces over there. And then, yeah, our job, as I mentioned, is to deal with these little uh, enclaves of soldiers, but also just to stay alive more so than anything else. Let's get some good throwing damage in there. Only seven on that hit. God, there you go. 70. That's exactly what we want to see uh, on these little uh, assaults by there. Let's get our sword out. Deal with them. Deal with him. Oh, good. Nice. Cut his arm off, I think. And then that guy going to hit me pretty hard. Make sure we deal with him. Okay, actually, what I'll do, shield ball boys, and then let's push the archers. Our cavalry can go after their cavalry. Boom. Uh, boys, no, up here, up here, up here. Shield ball and up. Where are you guys going? I told you guys to... No, did I, take us, I told you guys to charge. My bad. Yeah, move to position. Sorry, my bad. That was completely my bad. That's what we wanted to do. Shield wall and then push the archers, yeah. Oh, actually, it looks like we've already smashed the very infantry. Okay, I don't have to be doing that much stuff then uh, to break them. Nice. Let's push up then. Push up, push up, push up. And just, yeah, finish off these guys. God, that damn, that little test judo looks awesome. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. Let's take another hit. We need to make sure as well we don't take too many hits. Uh, break shield will just charge. Also, you guys can throw, throw, throw peel him as well if you want to. Yeah, throw away if it helps. Because these archers won't stand. But it's also good, again, but as we've seen, there's a lot of enemy infantry around. So more of these guys and less casualties we take, the better it is. I'm just happy my boys are getting some kills. A few upgrades in there as well is never a bad thing. Look at this as well. So this is cinematic combat right here. I'm only added this, this, uh, this episode. And look, I'm exhausted. So I'm like running. I'm low HP. So I'm like not like fully strength. It looks really cool. Uh, and again, you'll see that on all the custom soldiers uh, on top of that. So hopefully the boys will finish these guys off. There's still a lot of peelum. Make sure I don't die either. Uh, let's pick up a javelin uh, and then we'll just be here if they, they attack us. Nice. There we go. Nice little victory there. I guess that was always going to be a pretty easy one. Um, yeah, that was always going to be a pretty easy one right there. But again, these battles are important to win. Again, that's a 100 stack Germanic lore that's no longer there. I'm also building up some good relations uh, along with everybody else as well. So uh, happy with that. We'll take our prisoners, of course. And again, getting some bit of better cavalry. What does this cavalry even go up to? Yeah, just a tier three. Nothing special. I think they, they don't even have a javelin or anything. So I don't know why they have throwing skill. But just something a little bit better. Um, again, a little bit better stats. What's the base ones like? 
yeah, so they get they get a little bit better, but they're not good. But again, that's not going to be our strength in this playthrough. All our strength is going to come from that infantry, that thick block of Romans ready to kill anything. Uh, we'll definitely hunt that guy down if we can. Uh, he's going to be way too fast for us. Okay, what are we doing up here in the north then? Uh, hello? Almost just ran into me there. Wow, that was uh, brazen of him. Uh, cool. Well, yeah. So they also have more men in there. I'm still wounded as well, so I need to be careful. Let's just head to Rome. Let's sell our gear. Um, and we've got up to 50. Yeah, we've got up to 50 influence now, so I could maybe raise like a couple hundred men. And then I just need to start like fighting battles to, to utilize them in. Clan-wise as well, we're still only halfway, man. That is brutal. No, we're still only halfway to the next rank is, yeah, so painful. I'm not going to lie. But at least we're rich enough. And I guess maybe we can do some tournaments as well. Uh, to help out. We'll keep some of this good armor and some of this good equipment. But yeah, everything else can go. I guess maybe let's just try and win a couple of tournaments because I think we get with our charm experience, we actually get six renown for winning these, which is quite a lot, right? Uh, and the sooner we win these, the better. And now we've actually got good stats as well. We should be pretty well equipped at actually winning these, uh, especially if we get some good damage on the weakened soldiers. So let's, uh, yeah, let's whip these out. Shouldn't be too difficult to break these guys down. Yeah, there you go. Headshots bring these guys down pretty quickly. Uh, then we just well, we're, we're team green, right? Yeah, we're team green. So let's just clear, clean up this tournament. Um, and yeah, with all the... Oh, you're not friendly, are you? You goddamn Scythian. What are you doing in Rome's Colosseum? So I guess it makes sense, right? But there's uh, there's different cultures inside of Rome's Colosseum. Another mod I was actually planning on getting, uh, which again, let me know if it's uh, something that you guys have used and you would like to see, is I would love uh, to get... It doesn't matter if we die here either, so let's just let him kill us. Um, is I'd love to use the custom arena mod. There's some really cool like Roman style ones, which I, I definitely think, I think would, would be nice to actually grab. Let's snipe this guy off his horse quickly. Ooh, that was what we like to see. Nice, that's already that taken care of. You guys are running at me. We can break his shield. Finish him off there with 50 damage. Yeah, nice gone. And then we can, we can break this guy's shield maybe. We bounced there. Wow, that was brutal. Okay, so the other guy on the left is very close to dying, but so is this guy now. There we go. Make sure I don't get hit by an arrow. We should win, win regardless. I mean, let's aim low, aim low, aim low where he's not blocking good. There you go, yeah. We should win regardless just solely because, you know, we managed to kill their cavalry, so we have the number advantage. And we just need to make sure we get a good kill on this guy. Boom, nice. Into the next round we go. Okay, these are 1v1s, but we do need to still have our wits about us because, as you guys would have saw, uh, I am very low on HP. <laughs> so let's maybe try and break this guy's shield just so he's a little bit easier. Oh, okay, he's just not blocking. Now he's bleeding. Okay, there you go. Just free, free peel him. And that, that stat that gives us an extra two javelins is really coming in clutch, right? It should only take one or two peel to actually break his shield. So I don't mind actually hitting him, uh, if, whether it's his shield or just uh, him in general. But yeah, that, that stat, which gives us the extra bonuses, it is massive and boom. There you go. He was wounded. He was like walking towards me very slowly. So we can fully take advantage of that. And yeah, look at that. Six renown from that. Uh, that's big, right? If we win a couple of tournaments, we'll be the next clan tier very quickly. So uh, yeah, let's leave. I guess what we should do actually is we should probably sell our, sell our, our, our new knife to our manager gold from that tournament. We're rich boys. It's all about the renown, though. Yeah, I guess we'll head north, see if there's any more tournaments up north. I really also need to constantly be checking the taverns as well for uh, someone decent. I mean, prisoners as well, get rid of them. Uh, yeah, let's head north. We also have a few armies up here as well. Uh, I still think I need maybe a little bit more influence. And if we run into any, like, Germanian forces, which are about 50, 60 soldiers, I will 100% engage them. They're, like, battles we can definitely win. Ooh, do we level up again? Oh, nice, our raidery went up. Cool, so we'll definitely take the raiding speed and the extra experience of bandits. Not that we're going to ever have bandits, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So no tournament here. Uh, I guess we'll check for tavern really quickly. Oh, our workshop just built as well. Nice, workshop built uh, it has just been completed. So that's good. Now, the question is, do we go to a tier two right away for the extra? I mean, we kind of do, right? I think we do. It's going to take 60 days. Is that half it? 41 days. Because just the quicker we, the more of this production we get, the quicker everything's going to be. Realistically as well, if we had, uh, if we had a, uh, a governor in there who would give a production bonus as well, that'd be done really quickly. Uh, that's just one of the features that Tailwells just need to go and redo. Like, I don't, they just need to do a DLC adds in diplomacy into the game um, for free, obviously, and that's not part of the main DLC, but add that in alongside a free update, and then also add in, like, uh, a rework to the building system, city management, and 
Honestly, Battle of the Lord would then be a really interesting mid to late game, regardless of what it is now, where it's just like an early game brawl of battles. Here, though, up in uh, up in France, so let's just dive in and win this one again. We want to maybe just, I'll maybe just fight like two of these before we head back to just engaging the uh, engaging the Germanians in mortal combat. I think this will be a a good way of. Of, of going about it so i mean again there's no point betting on ourselves really let's just win these bad boys and and move on with our lives we're literally just roaming around here as a little gank squad the uh the Pelums are so great at breaking the shields which i think is really good i think in the newer builds of eagle rising they've actually nerfed it so it takes two Pelum to break a shield rather than one which i think for balancing really makes sense but for the build i'm playing because i again i don't want to change it because like, when i make a save on a game i don't want to then mess it up with like updates and stuff it actually makes it quite funny because it takes one i think on this patch if you hit it correctly uh which again i i kind of like the strength of that you know it's kind of supposed to be just how devastating that initial peel and throw it actually is uh let's throw one off there as well uh, oh my god we just bounced did we bounce off of her oh my god this is not looking good okay one there broke the shield and we can get one more okay he did 12 damage okay this guy's gonna be a little bit scarier thing is though as well we'll push him back put out our sword is we need to make sure that we win these because i don't want to uh not get my experience so what we'll do is we'll, we'll try hard this tournament and we'll wait for this other guy to arrive we'll keep that shield covering most of my body so he won't be able to get me and then wait why are they teaming on me why are you guys teaming on me team on each other there we go there we go and that's ladies and gentlemen is how you win tournaments right there boom so we just made it through it's called tactics okay it's not being cheeky it's tactics now this guy can just kill me if he wants to i'll probably kill him but uh yeah we'll, we'll finish him off just like that boom nice cool uh so we'll take that again into the next round we go i don't know why i keep on betting on myself we should win this one is what two lords versus versus none oh it's javelins oh we could easily get hit by one of those let's throw that out hit him seven damage is that it oh my god okay we missed that as well we need to make sure that our boys don't lose okay i'm actually gonna whip this out and use it as a as a javelin there you go 40 damage i'm gonna try and kill this side guy really quickly because i think he will he'll be really annoying oh block that Okay, block that. We need to go on block duty until our guy wins. Okay, block. Let's get our boy there. Block again. Oh, some pretty tense blocking there. Okay, there you go. He's he's now come in. Close the distance. Good job, my friend. I will see you in the tournament final. Okay, me versus my boy. Four javelins versus two. Should be fine. Again, we'll try and get a nice little throw off first. Oh, do we just... I feel like I just hit his javelin midair. That's pretty cool. Four damage. Broke his shield. And then just one direct hit, 30 damage. And now it's just all about the uh, the Gladius combat. But I obviously have that shield, which should make my life uh, a little bit easier. Not that the AI really cares too much about that because it does such a great job, yeah, of blocking anyway of our VM. Maybe I need to throw in some feints into it. There we go. Okay, maybe a little bit of feints because I feel like I'm actually fighting someone in real life right now. We'll go up and then we'll go down. Oh, yeah, the AI struggles to react to that. Not that I think it actually did any damage. We'll block that. Come in high. Yeah, the AI does a great job here. And the shield blocks a lot of my, like, body. So it's hard to see where he's where he's blocking. Oh, my God. He actually did a great block there as well. God, am I getting mugged off by the AI? I'm getting a lot of athleticism from this, though. Which we will, again, always take to our advantage. Oh, my God. He hit me. He hit me. What if I switch my sword down? If we just, like, swing, does he going to struggle? Because I feel like I can swing hard. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. God damn it. I'm wounded now. So I'm going to be moving really slow. He must be wounded as well himself. Am I bleeding out? Let's hope not. God damn it. Come on. Both just dwindling now, but it's just such a back and forth. Luckily, this sword is not breaking my shield. I guess it makes sense. It's not really a good shield, but yeah, we are both like just like struggling to hit. Oh my God. We both went for that one there. Come on. Just let me get a blade, a strike through. Finally, we brought him down. My God. That was pretty amazing. Holy. That was insane. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was really, really good. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, the sixth round is great. That took a while, though. I probably edited out, edited out a lot of that. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was gnarly. Cool. So now that tournament has won, let's continue on our quest to try and find a steward. I know I could kind of just look them up in a, the encyclopedia and see where they are. But with the new Fog of War system, it is a little bit harder to hunt them down. I kind of like going on this bit of a quest. We might even run into some enemy lords as well. Like there are Germanian caravans and other things we can maybe try and capture out here. Because that kind of fits our party size right now. Also, look how cool this settlement looks as well. So cool kind of built into the mountain. Oh yeah, look at that as well. Our athleticism went up so we can get uh, better HP, which is 
really nice uh really really nice or we could go a good day's rest which gives us when we're in settlements and experience whilst we're just chilling no definitely experience on the move we're always on the move right so that's good i mean our one-handed went up as well so large shield protection against projectiles uh larger shield yeah in formation yeah i think we definitely go with this one right better protection against projectiles when we formed into shield wall because that's what i think we'll mainly be in because that's, yeah, if these were more aggressive, I'd probably go for, like, if this was, like, do more damage against shields. But, yeah, let's just do shield wall. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? And we also have a focus point as well. I mean, our stewardship is going up, to be fair. Um, yeah, so let's stick a point in Horde Leader. And that's the last time we need to stick points in Tactics. Then we can get the... For the 10 party size and go from there. Okay, it seems like we're going to be making peace this time, which I guess we will just accept. Like, the kingdom needs to rebuild. Uh, so we are just going to make peace, yeah. Uh, I'll spend a little bit. No, I don't want to spend any influence. I was about to spend some influence. We don't want to spend any. Even if it will gain us relations, it's just not worth it. Now the Roman lords can build up again. We can prepare ourselves. Uh, and then I guess next episode, I'll add diplomacy in. So let's continue on our quest really quickly. I know we didn't get as many crazy battles as, as we would have liked, but it's not the end of the world. So let's just, let's just do this. Let's continue on our quest to find someone decent. He's a good scout. I mean, but he's probably going to betray us, right? Like... The last thing I want to do is take, like, a Germanian lord into my army. Like, I've learned from history. We're not going to go following some Germanian scout into the forest. This is not going to be me. This is such a cool part of the map as well as we go across the Pyrenees. These are Pyrenees, right? The Spanish mountains are Pyrenees. I'm pretty sure so they are. Um, but yeah, such a cool part of the map. Like this mountain pass into Spain. Yeah, Lemmy's done such a great job there with like an abandoned watchtower. It looks great. But yeah, let's see. Uh, it, again, in front. Oh my lord. Look at this. The Carthaginians are going hard in Spain. I haven't looked at this in, in a while. That is interesting. Are they at war now? Is this like a war that Hannibal's fighting? No, not anymore. Okay, so they must have recently just peaced out and lost, like, uh, the settlement to the left in Spain and also this castle. Uh, and then, obviously, the castle rebelled. It does seem like the castles are rebelling very easily, um, but they should be taken then pretty easily on top of that. Uh, so here we go. We've got a hyena. He's good at roguery. Carthaginian war warlord. Don't want any of you guys. I need a medic. There is a tournament here, though. So, yeah, let's see what these uh, these Western tournaments are. It's actually a really good horse as well. So, I might actually uh, go and focus a bit. It's probably just going to be the same as the Romans. Uh, yeah, that guy is done for right now. Uh, the good thing is, though, we are getting a lot of, like, experience from fighting in all these tournaments. And that's one of the really good things about tournaments, uh, especially with RBM, is, like, you do get a lot of experience. And that experience then compounds and just being so valuable because, you know, like... Having better stats is like a big bonus in uh, in these games. So let's obviously go and try and hit on the side. I would love to finish off this small guy really quickly before he finishes us off. There you go. Boom. Okay. Then I can help my ally really quickly. There's currently three of us. The nice thing is as well as my allies or my companion is also in this uh, tournament as well. So if he wins it, I also still get the prize. I don't get the renowned, unfortunately, but I still get the prize. As well, like he also, um, he also gets some good stats. So I'm going to come over and actually help out. Uh, with dodge that really quickly. I'm going to help out here because the green guy is my companion. So I kind of want me and him to get through. Wow, that's a beautiful headshot. So uh, get. Oh my god, I almost just hit him as well. Yeah, save this guy quickly. And then obviously gang up on the blue guy. Unfortunately, I can't specifically gang up on the blue guy. But we, we, we will regardless. There you go. Come on. I want me and him to be the ones through. Yes, come on. There we go. Of course, it's just me and my boy through. Let's just peel his shield away. And I can even maybe just let him kill me to get some experience. He must be pretty low, but he's taking a handful of... Okay, down to just the two of us. Let's dodge that. Okay, cool. So, unfortunately, me and my companion... Yeah, I'm not going to make it the whole way through, but... Oh, my God, he has all the throwing as well. Look at that, because he's a... Uh, because he follows my lead, so he has the same perks as me. Hopefully, these two javelins can... Oh, my God. I'm too... Are you okay? Sorry, I mean, you're going to be okay for work on Monday, right? Into the final we go. Nice. Just me versus a legionary. Oh, he almost hit my shield there. That would not have been good. The nice thing is, again, it means that he doesn't get the, the shield bonus as well. Oh, we hit him in the foot. Unfortunately, not enough damage. We'll dodge this throw. And then we'll run towards him because we want to take advantage of that throwing damage that we get. Again, you might remember at the beginning of the episode, we took that bonus. It does give us a little bit more damage if we're moving towards them. Which, again, is actually going to help out the rest of the boys as well. Because normally when we're fighting, we're like charging towards the enemy. We throw a peeler and we kind of go from there. Uh, so, boom. Another tournament won. Perfect. 
We take those. We really, really do take those. Okay, finally, a steward. Okay, I mean, she wouldn't be a bad governor either, but she's like the only person I've found. So we're going to grab her, I think. I think she's a Spanish lord by the looks of it. Uh, or a Spanish, like, culture. But yeah, we're going to grab her. Uh, she doesn't actually have more stewardship than me. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick her actually... Uh, in my city so that she can start governing that because of course I can't govern it So we we do need at least someone there uh, working hard uh, and we'll again check a few more places as we head back home I guess um, and the nice thing is as well. We have actually discovered a lot of characters made a lot of friends uh, And I'm hoping that the Roman people are really focusing on building up our armies again Like we have a lot of clans. We just lack towns like look at that the the uh, the French Romans have double our towns and almost double our castles but we have more clans in our in our kingdom. It kind of just goes to show how much we just got wrecked by the by the, the Germanians. Okay, boom, back home. So time to go and assign her her new job. So let's go to the town. Let's stick her in right there. Yeah, good job. So she boosts up speeding a little bit. Uh, she gives a little bit, yeah, less troop cost, which is always nice. Again, money doesn't isn't really a problem. But she'll get some stats from that. And again, I guess we'll we'll stick a bit more money. It seems like this thing chugs through money pretty quickly. Um yeah, nice. Okay, we'll pay 30 grand. That should keep this. Nice. This is actually almost done now. 10 days until we got the second workshop. How's our, our loyalty isn't looking great. Are there any buildings that boost that? Yeah, so let's buy Let's get a fairground after that. That will hopefully help out of loyalty. Oh, is it loyalty because of her culture? We should be okay, though, for now, right? Like, I'd rather the extra bonuses for a little bit. I guess we'll come back. We won't go too far away. And oh, look, there's a tournament here as well. Okay, so one more tournament and then like a battle and then we're at the next clan rank. So I know, again, I know tournaments aren't the most exciting thing in the world. But it's just a quick way to level up, I guess. And again, these horses sell for like a lot of money and I'm just good cavalry. So we'll keep them for now. And hopefully, oh my god, I'm fighting the new steward of my town. Imagine it's like, yeah, come be a steward for me. Oh yeah, and I'm going to absolutely destroy you in a tournament. I wonder if that's like an easy way to cheese the game. Like just make, just get like 10 companions and then take, bring them all to tournaments and then just like hope for the best. Uh, cool. These should be a pretty easy battle uh, with us. This guy's wounded. Uh, and shouldn't really be able to put up much of a fight. Into the quarter of semifinals now. Yeah, into the semifinals. Let's quickly clean this one up. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh my god, I missed. I missed. I was going to say I'll break this guy's shield really quickly. All right, let's just go deal with this guy. The other guy that we've got with us seems a lot more heavily armored. So he should be able to take a hit or two. There you go. Broke his shield. And then we can just 2v1 him. Nice. Good job. I'll see you in the final, good friend. And then boom, here we go. The final match between me and uh, the person I was just fighting with. Faras. I think this is like the previous lord of this land, the one I, I stole this settlement from, which I kind of do kind of feel a bit bad. Um, kind of. I, I wouldn't say too bad, but I do definitely feel a bit bad. Uh, so let's just finish him off. Again, we can kind of just sidestep his blows. And then, oh, he got me there, though. 50 damage with that hit. God, he is. Well, yeah, I mean, the city's yours now, my friend. You've earned it. God damn it. I just want the renown. Have him into my warehouse in a bit. And oh, yeah, look at that. We have a lot of clay here. We have a lot of clay. Uh, can we take it? We can take it. Okay, so we what? We pretty produced it for about 100 gold. I can probably sell a bit of clay here. Um, Yeah, okay. Clay's not selling for a lot here. But again, this is all profit, right? Because I bought, I bought the actual raw resource very cheaply on like the previous episode. So, um, so let's head down south. Yeah, let's head down south. Uh, let's see if we can sell some more of this other stuff. There is a tournament in Rome, but I promise I won't bore you guys with any more tournaments, I promise. Oh, and look at the money we can make there. I wonder if we get any trade experience? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do. I guess we could hunt down some bandits, but I mean, like, how how hard is that going to be? I mean, I guess until there is another war, there's not really too much for us to do besides just win these kind of battles. I can't believe I'm helping barbarians now as well. Okay, I think that is where we're going to wrap up this episode today. Um, as I said, if we get 50 comments on this episode, what I'll do is I'll make a next episode an hour special regardless of how long I have to record for. Uh, so yeah, that'll be an hour special. And I'll make sure we go to War of Carthage. I'm feeling a War of Carthage. Let's put it to the test. Uh, I have about 100 influence now. So yeah, I'll probably play a bit off camera just to get us to the next clan tier. Get us a little bit more influence and kind of go from there so uh yeah if you guys are enjoying this series if you like drop a comment down below i really do appreciate it it goes such a long way and you guys have been awesome check out the entire playlist that'll be down below either in the description or the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one and roma victor